But as the tournament went on, um, one of the big things that I need to make official here mm. is I am back on Team Disc Golf Network. The yeah. live coverage this weekend, I was very impressed with, very happy with. Uh, we got to see a lot of golf from a bunch of different cards. Um, there was one day where it was a little choppy, but I think that was more of a service issue. Yeah. The graphics were still good. Uh, the commentary hot take I really enjoyed. Um, there was it had hiccups, but it wasn't. It was it was plenty watchable. The only the only thing I didn't like about the commentary was uh, they had disc Ian Anderson. Outs. Yeah, yeah. Ian, he was doing the disc callouts, which I I am a fan of disc callouts. But what I wasn't a fan of is it got really windy out there, and it seemed like players had like told him what they were gonna throw, and they were changing their discs, so it became kind of distracting. To where Ian would be like, "Oh, this is Paul's. This probably didn't actually happen. This exact one, but oh, this is Paul's Luna." And then Paul like throws an onyx on a spike hyzer, right. and then there's multiple times where Nate was like, "Are you are you sure? That, are you sure or, that was yeah. a putter?" There were times where he would take like a few seconds, like trying to figure out what it was, and it's like yeah. if you know it, you know it, and like that's I don't mind the callouts either. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought that was the only hiccup in the commentary. The rest of it, I thought was good. Yeah, the one of the big complaints. First off, I heard I've heard so many complaints about Nate Doss. I I don't get it. I think okay, Nate Doss is good. I think one of the first. I think one of the things that people might not know, there's a lot of new players coming into this, and a lot of a lot of what I've heard about Doss has been like, oh, he's cocky. Like he talks about it like he's been there. Yeah, like he talks about like yada yada. Yes. I'm like, if there's anyone that should be doing play by play and giving their opinion on what the players should be doing, on like what they would do in this situation, it's Nate Doss. Yeah. He's, he's a three time world champion. He was pro- one of the best players of his generation. Yeah. Like he knows what he's talking about right. when it comes to him giving feedback on what these players are doing or what they should be doing, what they shouldn't be doing. Yeah. And that's one of the big things I heard. Another one was like, he needs to let there be dead space, dead air. And on yes Sunday, and no, because my thing was the audio, the way they control audio on the tour right now is the, the mics, like if they're not like, they don't really know when to have the mics hot or not. Yeah. Like, and if you, if they are not talking as commentators, you don't get a lot of ambient environment noise. Like it's not like now you're hearing the players talk and them shuffling up to the tee pad and the, and the wind, like you just kind of hear dead silence. So it's like, and I'm sure they know that too. So they kind of consider it awkward silence. So Mm -hmm. that's why I think they're making an attempt to fill that space. Even if it's just like a little, like, you know, um, if you watch PGA tour coverage, like you watch the masters and they, they kind of just cut to the scoreboard. They might play a little ambient, like masters themed music. They were doing that. Right. Oh, they were, North. they were yeah, doing they that. I'm not this. sure if I caught that, but like, that's good. But like, I think that's why they might've been fighting to try and like fill that space. Cause I agree there are times, but like there has to be something. It can't just be dead yeah. silence. Well, on Sunday, on Sunday, it seemed better yeah. that when there, especially hole one, I noticed it right off the bat. They talked about it. The disc was released. It's flying through the air, and you could hear like the disc hit the ground and stuff. And mm. then they talked again. Yeah. And so there was that ambient noise where you could like hear the wind out there. You could hear whatever it was. And I was very, I liked it. I really enjoyed watching it live. Um, you know, I, I saw a lot of people complaining about different stuff with it. it this, I, I thought this past weekend was better live coverage than we got last year. And you're right. You're, I, I, said. I will proudly say it. You were right. I'm happy to be back on team live coverage. I think it's great. I'm stoked for the rest of the year. 